Hey everyone, Cody from Mac Telecom Networks. In this video, we're going to quickly take a look at the new Unify Network app on our iOS 10.23.0, which brought some really nice features. Now, I don't use this app that much other than setting up a new device, and when I'm in a pinch, it does come in really handy, so let's take a look. I have the iOS app launched, and let's take a look at that. We could see my UDM Pro up top, and then we could see all the devices that are connected, as well as my download and my upload usage, which is 52.71 gigabits. That's over a 24 hour period. We'd also see my ISP health. And this is a new addition to the app, which is our live throughput. So you could see as of right now, it's going anywhere between 0.1 megabits per second and going all the way up to one megabit per second. That is a really nice feature to see the live traffic that is going on in your network. We also have the AP deployment density, which it looks like I probably need to add another access point. We have this U7, I believe that's in my basement, but I'm not 100% sure. I am doing a future build in this house where we're gonna be adding another access point upstairs and another access point downstairs. So that should solve some of these issues. And this is where the really big change comes in with this new app. We could see that we have all these different shortcuts. Shortcuts currently aren't customizable, but that is going to be coming in a future update. But let's go ahead and we'll kind of run through these. If I click on the Wi-Fi agent, it's gonna show what my ISP connection is. So I'm connected to Rogers right now. I have two ISP connections, but my secondary isn't connected. We could see which AP I'm currently roaming on, which is my XGS, which is sitting beside me. Something nice about this, it tells us when our APs need to be updated. So you could see that all three of my access points need updating. So if we click on that, it's gonna bring us right to our device page and will show us everything that we need to update. It will also tell you when you have devices offline, which is showing one AP. I just need to remove that from my device list. Now moving on, we have our ISP speed. So if I click on that, it's gonna show us what our ISP is and the date that it did a speed test. And we could also run a current speed test if we'd like. Something else that's new within this new iOS app is the topology. So if we click on it, it's gonna show us our topology page. We could also click this icon, which is gonna shift the orientation of the actual topology, which I find easier to read, especially on the computer. We have the AR, which is our augmented reality, and some switches support this. So you go down to your switch, you press the AR, and then it will show you an augmented reality of what's connected to your switch, which you'll be seeing here on screen, which I did a couple years ago, I might try it out again. We could click on our Wi-Fi signal, and this is gonna bring us over to our Wi-Fi Man app to show us the signal strength, the throughput, and the latency. So it does bring you out of the Unify Network app and brings you into Wi-Fi Man. The next section within the shortcuts is more to do with configuration. So we could click on new Wi-Fi, and that's gonna bring us over to our Wi-Fi settings to create a new Wi-Fi SSID. The same with the VPN. If we click on the VPN, it's gonna bring us to the VPN page, which we could do teleport, VPN server, VPN client, and site-to-site -site VPN configurations. Up next, we have our ad blocking. So if we click on that, we could either turn ad blocking on or off, and we could choose which network that we wanna be blocked from ads. We have our firewall, which we could click on our firewall, and it's gonna be showing us our zone-based firewalls if you have moved over to that. And you could scroll down and you'd be able to see your zones as well as all of the firewall rules that you have in here. I would personally do this on my computer. I think it would be a little bit easier. We look at traffic statistics and it's going to show us what our traffic overview is. We have our client and we have our Wi-Fi and then we have the applications that are most used. And the last one is going to be admins. And this is just going to bring us to our admin page. It's going to show us our owner and whoever else is an admin within this console. And that's gonna be it for this video on the new Unify Network app for iOS. And I really do like this update. The live throughput is a great new feature as well as those shortcuts. Once we're able to customize those shortcuts, it's gonna be even better. You could pretty well configure a full network just from your mobile device if you'd like. Let me know if you have any questions about this new update. If you like this video, hit the thumbs up button. If you're new here, please subscribe and hit the bell icon. All right, thanks.